Welcome, everybody, to the College Football Best Bet Show on the Gurley Two Sports Network. I'm your host, Mike Goodpaster. Today, we're going to look at a huge matchup between two undefeated teams as the Tennessee Volunteers will travel to Oklahoma to battle the Sooners. Both teams are 3-0. and If you want to bet this game right now, Tennessee is favored by seven on the road at Oklahoma. Go to BetMGM as the top sports book for betting on college football and the NFL. So make sure you click on the link in the description down below in this YouTube video. All right, guys, it's the Josh Hypo Bowl. It's the SEC opener for both programs. It's the first SEC conference game for Oklahoma. It's a high-powered game for two powerhouse football schools. And it's a really, really big deal for the Sooners. Tennessee has looked great. It blew out NC State, hung 71 on Kent State, and for the most part has had an easier schedule going forward that OU has had to deal with. There's a home game against Alabama, a road game against Georgia, and everything else is relatively manageable for this team. The Sooners will get to Texas. They have to go to Ole Miss, travel to Missouri, Auburn, and LSU, and then they have to deal with Alabama. Considering it's been a bit of a grind so far to get to 3-0, and they need to win games like this because the schedule for both teams is tough. For Oklahoma, it may be beyond tough. Now, why does Tennessee win this game? I'm going to give you why each team wins the game. Either the Oklahoma offense has been holding back over the first three games waiting for the SEC season to begin, or there's a problem. It has to be the problem, right? There's no way they're holding back. The Sooners have a strange problem moving the chains. They're not connecting on third downs. The running game hasn't been good enough to make up for those issues. And Temple, Houston, Tulane, it's not like Oklahoma has dealt with a slew of killers yet. Along with the top-scoring offense in America, Tennessee's defense has been fantastic. The stats are misleading with games against Charlotte and Kent State, but this bunch stepped up against NC State, too. NC State's a good football team. There's a pass rush there on the number two D in the nation that hasn't been unleashed yet. But to paraphrase, you know, the immortal in his own mind, Coach Prime, it's coming. Tennessee is also second in the nation in third ground, third down defense. Pressure quarterback Jackson Arnold from Oklahoma, and the success will be there, and the win will be there. Now, why do the Sooners win? Okay, Oklahoma. Let's see this offense start working already. This has to be when the OUO line starts to kick it up a few notches. Start bashing, get physical from the start, make Tennessee have to work a little bit. If they don't, this is going to be over quick. The bigger positive, though, is a pass rush that is forcing a ton of mistakes. Six takeaways against Temple, two against Houston, two more against Tulane, and it all starts with the pressure that should bother the Tennessee quarterback enough to finally force him to hurry a bit. Now, it helps when the offensive front is giving everyone days, days to work like the Tennessee front is doing. I mean, they're working everybody. And Oklahoma should be able to disrupt that at least a little bit. Now, who wins this game? Who wins this game is not the bigger question, whether Oklahoma can cover seven is. Because Josh Heupel's new team won't roll over it, his old one. But it'll get better all-around line play and more effective passing to keep things moving. Oklahoma will take things up a few notches. There will be a different strategy, a sharper focus and performance, and that will last about a half, maybe three quarters. Then Tennessee will settle in. And then in the second half, it'll take over and it'll start to pull away. That's what OU's third down issues on offense will become a huge problem in this game, guys. I think there's no doubt the Tennessee Volunteers will win this game. I think they'll win it somewhere in the range of 34-23. I think it'll be close for about two and a half quarters. And then Tennessee rolls. The SEC is loaded this year. Tennessee, Ole Miss, Alabama, Georgia. You may see four teams in the college football playoffs by the time everything's said and done. All right, guys, remember, if you want to bet this game, go to BetMGM, the top sports book for betting on college football. Click on the link in the description down below. If you're watching on YouTube, go to Twitter, X, whatever they call it now. Make sure you like, subscribe to The Grilling Truth. All right, guys, I'm Mike Goodpaster. You've been watching and listening to The Grilling Truth, where the legends speak.